good morning it's 9 40 and i'm still in bed but you can tell my voice i'm a little under the weather so i laid in bed as long as physically possible this morning to just rest and now i need to go get ready for work in about 15 to 20 minutes so hopping out of bed and getting my day started it's thursday December, no, November 30th. So, you know what that means? Vlogmas! I said it so aggressively. But yeah, Vlogmas is starting. I'm vlogging today through December. I'm turning my Christmas tree on. Ouch. I had to go all the way in it. Christmas tree on the vibes are right and given my illness i'm gonna make some tea real quick while i get ready to help clear my throat um my birthday party is on saturday and i've been sick since monday doing everything physically possible to make myself feel better because I don't want to be sick for my birthday, obviously. Today's my friend Maria's birthday, so I need to text her. Oh my gosh, I look awful. I look seriously awful. Half up, half down has been my new go-to. So I think I'm just going to do quick half up, half down. Maybe not even any makeup. I don't know. This is all unimportant. Anyway, welcome to the start of vlogmas day two day two because day one is gonna be my thanksgiving break and my dad's calling me so bye change of plans i literally can't even make tea and get ready that fast because i'm that type of running behind i just so oh my god I just shot my naked eye. Here we go. Great. It's okay. Life will go on. Life will go on. What I was saying was, I just slathered my body in Jergens Natural Glow. I have this one as well as this one. I think the only difference is actually the containers they're in because. Oh. So this one is medium to tan, and this one's medium to deep. Obviously, I'm not medium skin toned. I would say I'm light skin toned. I'm fair to light. I'm actually really tan right now, though. Like, you guys just can't tell because of this lighting. I would say I'm actually I'm fair to light skin toned, but I buy those darker ones because they work just a little bit faster. In one use, it makes me so much more glowy. Um, I just dropped my makeup bag. I had all my makeup packed up from traveling home. And I just dropped it all over the floor. So now every makeup brush just touched my bathroom floor. So that's super sanitary. And I'm so happy about that. Cracked the cap to my foundation. Ah! Oh my gosh. Whatever. I don't even have time to get upset about it. So when stuff like that happens, like, what are you going to do? There's nothing to do but just have it happen. So, um, since I'm wearing a literal sweatshirt to work today because I feel like poop, I'm going to do a little bit of makeup. Just a smidge so it looks like I'm a little bit more alive than I am. Um, even though it's probably not good for your face... You know, I got to do what I got to do. I put that tanning stuff on my face as well. Um, does it give me pimples? Yes, it does. So it's just for special occasion purposes when I want to look glowy and tan. So I'm just using a little bit of concealer. Going to do a little blush, a little mascara. And try to look a little bit better than I feel as I go to work um I think I said this but I don't even have time to make and drink tea because my travel mug 
um, just like the little plastic to go things are, well, it's a reusable plastic. I don't like when people use single use plastic at home because what's the point? Buy a reusable cup, you crazy person. Um, anyway, so yeah, my, this was from not the floor. I didn't put this on the floor. But yeah, my mug that I would use is at work. So I'm just gonna make tea when I get to the office because I have no other choice with that. Um, my body is significantly darker than my face. I mean, I am wearing a turtleneck, so who cares? But I want some sort of life to be brought to me. Um, I'm using random brushes because like I said, all mine were all over the floor. So hope it works and doesn't look crazy even though you can't tell as much as I can in person, but this doesn't look good. So I wish I didn't even do that, but having a little bit of a chaotic morning, clearly. This blush is really good because it's just like a dark rosy color that for days I just want to throw things on my face and like hope for the best. It's not like hot pink and crazy, whereas this one... is like bright pink and sparkly which i like to put this one on just like here this one just blends really well with my bronzer for just a nice general glowed look um so tonight this also didn't touch the floor so some of them did, some of them didn't. But tonight, basically what I'm gonna do now is I wanted to do this anyways, but I'm just gonna come home. My little makeup section, my makeup drawer, drawers, just this whole thing right here. Quite, quite messy. So I've been meaning to do that and all my stuff falling over for was God telling me that I need to get it together. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna come home. Oh, frig. I'm stressed. But whatever, life goes on. Um, it's just makeup. Um, I'm gonna come home and organize my bathroom because i have so many products so many things such a mess it just needs a little organization and apparently i'm gonna wash all my makeup brush <coughs> oh my god you see i'm like sick um apparently i'm gonna wash all my makeup brushes too so suddenly i went from having no idea what to do tonight to quite the task ahead of me and this six minute clip you're seeing is the entirety of me getting ready for work because that's all the time i had today um i'm like sitting here needing to leave for work and i'm like worried about the separation of my eyelashes am i okay the answer is no my hair is in a messy bun so like i said when i started off the clip half up half down has been my new go-to i just feel like it's really cute love having a little part i don't do like a super crazy even part anything hello gray hairs i turned 26 on sunday so basically i'm an elderly woman um now because i have so many gray hairs i need to smooth out my cowlick um cowlick girls unite how annoying is your cowlick because mine's super throwing her in just a little half up half down it's somewhat slick somewhat messy cute right cute right i like when my hair flips out in the end okay that's all get ready with me i'm ready bye feeling a little chaotic this morning if you can't tell but on another note i got this silver jacket from target obsessed can't stop wearing it and it's actually pretty warm like if there was a snowstorm going on obviously i'd wear a puffer instead but for general warmth 
She does a trick. And she's pretty cute for Target too, right? And not bad price, 50 bucks. Ooh, ooh. I'm on my way to the subway. Russian. This woman feeds the pigeons and I'm just like, why do you do that? Why? Hey guys, it's me again. Back from a crazy eventful day to say the least. And I am for some reason at 10 p.m. cleaning my makeup brushes, as I said this morning. And I'm doing it at 10 p.m. tonight for some reason, but you know what? We're getting it done, and that's what matters. Um, oh my god, I feel very just like disheveled and like exhausted right now as i'm sure you could imagine i just have like a really random i'm moving everything around so i have a flat space to like lay the brushes on to dry but i just had like a really freaking random day like not bad per se but also not like exceptionally good um these are all like first world problems so nothing that crazy but i'm just like a little under the weather and i'm kind of stressed with my birthday party this weekend because I'm like not feeling good and I also don't want to have a bunch of people come when I'm feeling sick but I'm feeling much better today also I'm just using my CeraVe cleanser and like brushing the brush out so that's how I'm cleaning them in case you were wondering but yeah like I'm just a little under the weather so I'm hoping I feel better by Saturday and then also I'm like super disappointed because I ordered these really cute birthday shoes. They were like mega on sale and everything. I was so excited. My dress is yellow gold sequins and like super, super cute. And I ordered these shoes to go with it. And I accidentally ordered them to the, my old office because that was just the address that was saved. And then my job moved to a new office this year and I shipped them to the old one, which was vacant. So it was just basically this whole hassle with the post office, like trying to get in contact, find the package, whatever. And then finally, I don't know what it is. Me and the post office have like some serious beef. They're never helpful. They're always rude. And it's just frustrating. So then they tell me today that the package has been rewrapped, has been shipped back to sender, which is ASOS that I'm pretty sure is in England. Or maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know. But, like, obviously they're not going to resend the shoes and give them to me by Saturday. It's Thursday. So, I have, like, so many things. But one thing I really don't have is heels. I don't have any wintry heels. All I have are, like, chunky summer sandals. And, like, again, I know this is a stupid first world problem. But, like, my dress is so pretty. That I don't want to just, like, wear the most random shoe that, like, makes no sense. Like... Can I stay up saying like? I'm really trying to stop doing that. But you can tell my energy this morning was a little upbeat right now. It's honestly not that upbeat. But I'm trying to not be like a negative and a party pooper. Like the only thing is that's kind of frustrating is that tomorrow I'm going to have a really fun, amazing Friday. It's my friend Lily's birthday. And so we're going to this big birthday dinner for her. Which is going to be so much fun and I'm really, really excited. But what's frustrating is because after work I'm going to Lily's birthday and then Saturday I have so much to do to prep for my party too. That I don't really have time to run all over the city and find a pair of shoes. Because I feel like when you need something you can't find it anywhere. Like, does anyone agree? Like, I swear the second I'm, like, desperately needing something just to, like, go quick stop somewhere and get something, they don't have it. So, I just, like, know it's going to be a production Saturday. Lily's birthday is a bottomless wine dinner party, which is going to be amazing. But, obviously, Saturday I'm going to be, like, just lots going on. So, I'm being really negative and complaining right now, but this is just the reality of my life at the moment i'm just feeling a little overwhelmed and stressed to top it all off to top it off a pigeon pooped on me on my way to the on my way to the post office today which really just topped off my experience 
But other than that, I actually did have a really great day. My boss bought me coffee. I've been making a lot of really amazing sales at work, not to toot my own horn. So you know what? I'm just having faith that the shoes I ordered, I bet you they were super uncomfortable. We're gonna snap that night and I was gonna have nothing to wear or walk in and I would have been miserable anyway. So that's just what I'm gonna say to make myself feel better. That's what we're going with. Um, and yeah, I'm just like not even gonna complain anymore because what good does that do? I'm also so random I decided to wash my makeup brushes. I really didn't think I would do it. But, you know, it's the little things. I guess I just needed to do something. I guess I just needed to do something mindless, get my mind off of things. Excuse me. Another thing is, too, is sometimes I'm feeling very lonely living alone. Like, living alone definitely has its... Whoa. Look at all that bronzer come out of there. That's disgusting. But, yeah, living alone for real gets lonely sometimes. But you know what? At some point, I'm going to live with people forever. Like, when you're married and if you have kids or something, you'll live with someone for literally ever. So whenever I feel lonely, I just try to remember that one day I will wish I live alone or wish I had time to myself. So look at me being all philosophical. I do feel much better than I felt this morning, though, so that's good in terms of my health. But yeah, I'm just feeling in a funky mood, kind of just like blah. I'm halfway done with my makeup brushes, and wow, this is a chatty clip. I'm literally chatting in the morning, nothing during the day, and chatting at night. But you know what? That is the reality of my day today. I'm just not really doing much other than working, coming home, and instead of being alone, I'm chatting into my phone that is stuck to my bathroom mirror while I clean year old makeup brushes for the first time. I only have two left. Oh my God, this 10 minute clip is getting excessive. Bye.